All right, we're going to talk about a few reasons that your blog might not be showing subpages in the main content area. Uh, this is Concrete 9.1.2, and in this version, we've fixed an issue that had started to make itself apparent um, since it had been about a year since we released this blog layout. Um, this layout is built using something we call boards. And what Boards does is aggregate content in different ways um, with the idea that it might cycle through different layouts over time. So your website stays fresh and you get kind of that magazine attractive category level stuff. The challenge with Boards is um, it's doing a data pull and this one's set up to look for posts within the last year. So... The first thing we'll do here is if we edit this block, you can see this is in fact a board. And um, if I hit regenerate, it's got a different layout, right? So this will typically run every night. It'll regenerate on its own. And it's looking across things you can configure to say, hey, go aggregate page in different exciting ways and give me a fresh layout every time. So if you notice that you're not getting a bunch of pages under here, uh, it could be because your board is set to ignore pages that are really old. So this install actually dates all the pages it makes today. So it behaves a little bit better, but it could still happen to you for an older install or for other reasons. But let's go search for boards in Intelligent Search. And go view boards. Here is the blog board. So this is settings around how we aggregate content on that page. And if I go to data sources and say look for pages underneath the blog, you can see it's looking for pages that are dated up to two months in the future and a year into the past. So an easy way to make sure that this keeps your older content, if maybe the dates are off, um, is just to turn this into a much bigger number. And if you do that and then you um, regenerate the board, uh, you should be able to... Um, you should see, let's see if we go to board instances, go to this one, um, refresh data pool. Let's see, it says six right here. So if we refresh, um, that should make sure that everything's showing up on that blog page. We go a thousand days in the past uh, on the blog instead of just one year. So if I come back here and I reload this page, now, this was working before, but if you had nothing on this page, that little trick I showed you might work. Um, you can always make sure that there actually are blog subpages. If you bring up this little sidebar and you open up blog, you can make sure, okay, here are the pages. You can directly navigate to those. You can see the date on them. Think a little bit about the date on these pages and that setting and boards, and that should get the blog main layout working. If all of this sounds needlessly confusing and not what you're really looking for out of your blog, there's another way to go about this. Um, you could put this blog category page in edit mode. You could add a page list block. Let's drag this guy right here. In the page list block, you could, in the settings, say, show me everything here we go everything beneath this page we could display a thumbnail sure and if i add that um, i'm starting to have a basic blog listing page and it's possible if i click that block and hit design i have custom templates here and i should be able to maybe pick this one and hit save and I now have this type of listing so I can delete this board block from the blog and now I've got a much simpler but easier to configure and manage list of sub pages underneath blog um, and you can play with those other custom templates and you can play with some of the settings in the page list and build uh, your, your blog summary interface that way. I hope that helps.